Hey, man, what's up? Oh. You okay? Yeah, I mean, you know. You need to stop. Woo! We're good. Back to you. In today's video, I want to talk about what I call superpreneur syndrome and how it's negatively affecting musicians and creatives' work ethic and mindset. So what is this superpreneur syndrome? It's that 24 seven, the grind never stops, bro. You know, work till you're dead kind of mindset that a lot of people like Gary Vee preach and that very kind of vague, inspirational, motivational entrepreneur content. But before we jump into this, I need to give the massive caveat and be super honest with you that these are all things that I struggle with as well. You can ask my girlfriend, I'll probably always have trouble separating my own personal identity from my work and music life because I just spend so, so many hours consumed in my business. And I think a first important question is why? If it's what your passion is, you should be okay going full force into it, full on Gary V. So why is that bad? Well, I'm glad you asked. Hey, uh, nobody asked you, dude. You you wrote the script to fit your narrative. Okay, okay, Wait, fair, fair enough. While I share that same fierce hunger for putting in every waking moment possible into my music or into making videos, into bettering myself, because let's face it, there's always stuff to be doing in the creative world. I also found that it became very unhealthy for me in a lot of ways. It's a similar sentiment that Gary Vee preaches in this video. You should put out a music every single day. Now you're gonna say, well listen, I'm stationed here, I can't do that, I can't do this, great. Is it 364 days that you can put out music? Great, you can. Is it 360 days of music? Oh, you can? Okay, is it 290 days of music? You need to put out music every day on SoundCloud and Spotify, and then you need to make as much content on social media networks to bring awareness. And I completely understand because at its core, it's super good advice. It does take an immense amount of work and you need to be doing as much as possible, as fast as possible. But I think some of the short and quick advice can be kind of off-putting for people and why they don't like some of Gary Vee's message. And to an extent, I see it because it does oversimplify the equation. On the other side though, it is a Q&A show that he responded to this on and he doesn't necessarily have the platform, the time, nor just the mental capacity to give deep, deep, detailed answers to everybody. But I think for a lot of people who may watch that kind of content, they look at that and then they think, oh my God, I need to be putting out hundreds of songs per year. And then they get into the state of feeling super, super overwhelmed, just super paralyzed by fear because there's so much to do and it's just incredibly overwhelming. I think for a lot of people, including myself, you kind of end up feeling insufficient or incompetent because you can't keep up that level of execution. And with serial workaholics such as myself, it can lead to a lot of troubles with overworking and overextending my time and energy such as, hold on, I'm getting a, a, a Skype call. Hey man, what's up? Hey John, this is Fang from Lords of the Trident. Hey, I've been watching you make this video over the secret live stream of your webcam that I set up a few months back. Nice butt, by the way. And dude, I could not disagree this more. I am all about the grind lifestyle. 187 grind or die, baby. I am Mr. Grind. Like, as I'm talking to you right now, my computer is rendering six different videos. I'm in the middle of writing a script. And, uh, just a second, hold on. I'm getting a little low on energy here. baby yeah anyway sorry where was I? i'm getting the shakes here right um dude all i gotta do is keep this up for like the next all like i don't know five or six years and 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 ugh, i'll be super famous i'll never have to do it anymore and, and I, I gotta let you go um the cpu the skype is taking up too much cpu cycles and my after effects render is crashing anyway bye hmm okay uh hope he's okay I wouldn't want to speak with an ominous and vague tone foreshadowing that things could escalate if he's not careful. Ultimately, I think we're all looking for purpose in maximizing our contentment and fulfillment that we experience. And the right blend of things that works for you isn't going to work for me and vice versa. I don't want to tell you just really how to live your life. I'm really here to just share my own personal experiences and some of my observations and you are welcome to take away from that what you would like. First off, being unable to separate myself from my music work made it really difficult to just connect with people on anything that wasn't music. Just sitting with somebody talking about another topic that wasn't music honestly became difficult for me because I'd be so distracted thinking about, oh, I need to send this person an email or I can make that production change or my gosh, you know, I have a video idea. I need to take care of that and elaborate on it right now. And it honestly became extremely inhibiting when it came to just basic human to human connection. Honestly, talking to a victim of the 24 seven hustle Gary V syndrome is exactly like my buddy Fang. So let's call him back up and see how he's doing. Hey dude, uh, how you been lately? You look 
really beat. She is lit. Um, my video on Brazilian snake charmers got demonetized. I, oh, I'm still married. Oh, that's surprising. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, that, I'll take it. Uh, oh God, what else? I don't know, man. I just, Honestly, man, you may want to take a break this week. You look, uh, you look wrecked. Fang! Oh, sorry. I had one of those episodes again. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's life, it's life, man. It's just being famous on the internet, what can I tell you? Uh, content ID. Content ID. Uh, make your own website with Wix. Uh, play Clash of the Clans. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I had a... Uh, Dude, like take a break. I'm hanging up. Go rest. And the inability to connect with others brings me to another point. For myself, I found the immense amount of waking hours in my day dedicated to music and business meant that when it came to reflecting upon my own self-worth, I didn't have anything to identify with outside of my music and business. And not even necessarily the amount of income that I've had this quarter or this month, but anything as small as like losing a potential job opportunity or just not having any leads coming in for a while, anything that's kind of negative in the sense of the business, it would be really hard to shake that off because that's the only thing I could really tie my own self-worth to. For myself and many of the people I've had conversations with, a bad happening in business just translated immediately into, oh, I'm a bad person or I'm insufficient or incompetent or not good enough as a human because something bad happened in my business. And this all stems from spending every waking hour in the day on that one thing. So how else am I supposed to identify with my own self-worth? And honestly, that mindset is a really efficient way to have a ton of ups and downs every single day, and that's just not sustainable. The danger I see here is the fact that my happiness was dictated by things that I could not control, which meant I had no power on whether I'd be content or not. Sorry, let me just, let me just tell Fang to stop calling me. Hey man, uh, you need to stop. Like I'm filming and I can't keep stopping this all for you. What is going on? John, I just wanted to call you back and let you know that I found a solution for the ups and downs you were talking about. It is that if you just keep putting out videos and you never stop making them, then you don't have time to worry about the ups and downs because because it, it, it just doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Have you ever tried to not make a video? Like maybe to relax just like a little bit? Oh, John, I realized that when I'm not making videos, I could live stream my process of me not making videos, which would in itself be a video. And then I would always have videos. Oh, it, uh, oh sorry, I'm getting a heart attack again. It, come on, content, content, come on you. Okay, we're good, we're good. Woo, we're good, okay. Back to you. Well, I mean, I'm glad you're okay, but maybe take a moment and clean up the blood on your face and then give the people a straight answer for a change. Two hours later. All right, real talk. The point that John is making here is incredibly true and incredibly salient. The pressure to need to create, create, create all the time can be incredibly toxic. Creativity is like water in a jug. You pour that out and you create things, but you also need time to refill that jug. If all you're doing is pouring the water out, pretty soon there's not gonna be any of it left. Everybody needs a break from time to time. You don't need to be grinding all the time. And admittedly, I'm probably the wrong person to be saying that, but it's absolutely true. From my own experience, I, had a uh, time when I was creating eight or nine different music videos for our new release. And they came out and they just weren't doing very well. I still had a music video to create and I had no idea what to do with it. And I tried all these different things and, and it just, it, nothing was working. I took time off. I actually took a vacation to Florida and in Florida I ran into a game shop where they were selling old Sega CD games. That gave me the impetus and the creative idea, that time off, to actually create our own Sega CD game for the music video. So that sort of time off, that sort of separation, that refilling of the creativity jar is something that is incredibly essential and often overlooked in today's society of content, 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 content. One more thing I'll add is that the stress that people put themselves under to create all the time is very real, but so is the depression that happens when things that you've created aren't 
doing as well as you think that they should. And that depression is dangerous. So for everybody out there who's a creative, please take care of yourselves. So anyway, I'm gonna go take my own advice now and stop making videos for the internet. I'm gonna go relax and play some video games. Back to you, John. Thank you, Fang. And in the end, I just wanted to really start some good discussion about the mindset and approach that the hustle, hustle, hustle entrepreneur mindset can have on us as a collective music creative. And in my personal experience, as well as my observations and conversations with others, this kind of content is responsible for a lot of industry burnout and just feeling completely trained and overworked. And with all that, I think it's super important that myself, Fang, and of course you, the human watching this, who I love very much, all be super self-aware of how you're doing physically, mentally, and emotionally as you work super hard through all these trials and tribulations. So now let me ask you, have you ever felt burnt out or been burnt out? If so, what do you think caused it and what do you think got you out of it? I would love to know in the comments down below. I'll have answered the question as well. And of course, you are already subscribed to Fang's Lords of the Triton channel right here and checking out another video of theirs here. I'll put something up here, maybe. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But thank you so much to Fang for collaborating with me on this video. Super excited about everything that he's got going on over on his end.